What is up, everybody? It is game day. Yes, the Detroit Lions play the Arizona Cardinals today. You guys should be excited because right now, while you guys are watching this video, I'm probably getting ready for the Detroit Lions game, which we will be going live at around 4 o'clock p.m. Uh, to see the Lions take on the Cardinals for week one. Yes, I'm super excited. Now, let's get right into the video so I can explain everything. Now that we're into the video, let me explain a few things before we really get into the video, I guess I should say. Uh, the first thing is that, look, I know some of you guys want the scores to be on the screen. Like, not the game, but the scores. I'm going to try my best to do that. Just I'm going to try to figure out how to do that. But uh, I don't know how to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I literally don't know how to do that. So I'll do my best to try. I'm going to try and figure it out tonight. If I can't get it going, we'll just do the straight up reaction. Either way, it'll be a reaction, but I just want to try to put the score on the screen. I don't really know how to do that. If you guys have any ideas, just let me know in the comments. If you guys have a link to a video that shows you how to do it, Put it, please put it in the comments below, you know what I'm saying? But otherwise, I'm going to try my best to figure it out. But if I can't, we'll just react. And, you know, throughout the season, hopefully I can figure out some cool stuff to keep you guys really engaged and in the know of everything that is going on. So the Lions game is today when you guys are watching this video. So hopefully all of you guys are excited. Now, I did come up with a short little list on why the Lions will beat beat the Arizona Cardinals, okay? Not lose, beat the Arizona Cardinals, all right? So let's get right into that list. Here are the three reasons the Lions will beat the Arizona Cardinals. Now, a couple of these on this list may be a little surprising and they're kind of amazing, but the first one, not really anything special. Coming in at number three is the defensive line. Very simply, the defensive line is going to be huge for the Lions to beat the Arizona Cardinals. I mean, the Lions have one of the best defensive lines in football, if not the best defensive line, especially when healthy. They're going to be mainly healthy, except for Deshaun Hand. Hopefully, it looks like Trey Flowers is going to play. Mike Daniels should be out there as well, along with Aquara. All those, all those great defensive linemen should be out there other than really Hand. So with that, they bring a lot more than just getting pressure. Not only will they get pressure, but they will also help contain Kyler Murray because they're all talented enough to know how that works and do really well at it, okay? Containing Kyler Murray sometimes can be more important. And then it's basically coverage sacks, okay? Because he's trying to hold it too long or he tries to get to the outside. That's when you get sacks. Not only will they get pressure, but they will also help contain. And he is a rookie quarterback. So you can show a lot of different mixes and moves with these talented defensive linemen that are all veterans. You can mix a lot of things up, confuse the rookie quarterback and the defensive line overall is going to be huge, especially helping stop that run as well. David Johnson is going to be a big part of this offense for a rookie quarterback, Cliff Kingsbury. They're going to try to utilize him a lot, try to take some pressure off of Kyler Murray, but our defensive line can step up and be huge for us, and I think they will. That's the third reason. Now, coming in at number two, we have the offensive line. I'm 100% not lying. Look, this straight face, look. Yeah, no, I'm not lying at all. The offensive line is a reason the Lions will beat the Arizona Cardinals. Now, you may be coming at me like, bro, what are you talking about? Well, here's what I'm talking about. So basically, the Detroit Lions starting offensive line, yes, starting, isn't that bad, okay? Now, Frank Ragnow should be playing. We're hoping he's playing. He should be playing. That would be huge, right? Frank Ragnow should be playing. So, you just imagine Frank Ragnow playing. You got your starting offensive lineup, right? Offensive line. Now, a lot of you guys want to say, well, our offensive line is trash. Look, no, no, no. Offensive line isn't trash. Depth offensive line is trash. So if we get injuries, it's going to be trash. But those starters, they're pretty solid. And, you know, the confidence in that Patricia those guys have been showing, not going to get other guys, is a good sign in its own. But let's look a little bit into detail at this offensive line. So actually, Taylor Decker and Rick Wagner, you guys probably don't believe this, didn't give up a single pressure in the preseason. Not one single pressure. I mean, can you guys believe that? The starters played very, very little in the preseason. So we, what we really saw when we were watching was the depth though line. But when they did play, Rick Wagner and Taylor Decker, neither of those guys gave up a single pressure. Now, as we know, the only new guy to this mix is going to be that guard position, right? It's going to be that left guard spot, who I believe it's going to be Joe Dahl, Kenny Wiggins, one of those guys. I don't know which one. I still still haven't been able to figure out which one that will be. So that's really the only question mark, right? And I know it can be a big one, but I think they'll be okay once this offense line gets, gets rolling. But not only that, you may say, okay, well, no, it's still trash. The rest of the guys are trash. But if you look at it simply, last season, the Detroit Lions ranked eighth in pass protection. Eighth? I didn't know it was that good either. Yes, the Lions offensive line isn't that bad. With Frank Ragnall moving to the center, that should actually help him out. Glasgow can play guard. You got your two tackles as who have played really well throughout the preseason. It's just that left guard spot. And I think with the other guys that are helping him out, I think he'll be perfectly fine. And you know what? We could probably have, when we go on the shotgun to throw the ball or whatever we do, we can have the running back sit back to the block because we got running backs that block pretty well. So that will be good. And looking at the Cardinals, they had the 32nd ranked pass protection. In 2018 so uh yeah they have a lot of holes and uh, that should just mean our defense line should feast even more now finally coming to number one is the arizona cardinals defensive backs 
versus the Lions weapons, basically simply weapons. Now, I was just gonna say wide receivers, but simply weapons, okay? Let's take a little quick look at the Cardinals secondary, okay? So, Offords out there, right? They brought an offer throughout free agency. Very good move, right? They get this man, he's a veteran. He's a solid, solid corner in the league. Well, he's out on, he's on IR. So that's one of your top corners out. Okay, what about the man, the myth, the legend, Patrick Peterson? Well, the man, the myth, the legend is actually suspended. So two of your best cornerbacks are out. Okay, now, now what do we have? We have Tremaine Brock. Um, who some of you probably don't even know who that is, right? He's bounced around through multiple teams. I believe it was four teams in his career. And they also have the rookie Byron Murphy out of Washington. So uh, that's what their cornerbacks are going to look like versus Kenny Galladay, Marvin Jones Jr. Yeah, that's probably going to be a problem, right? We should take advantage of that. Not only that, but we also have great tight ends. We have weapons out of the backfield and Ty Johnson. Overall, our offense should feast, okay? And then again, the offensive line should be pretty solid other than that left guard spot. We'll see how that handles. If that handles, we'll be fine. The Lions should beat the Arizona Cardinals today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Again, be back here around 4 o'clock for a live stream. I'm going to try to figure out everything I possibly can. Again, if you guys have any suggestions or ideas of how I could do the scoring or you guys know how to do it, just let me know in the comments below. But... With that being said, I know some of you guys hate when I say that. I've tried not to say it too much, but I'm going to say it in this video. With that being said, thank you for watching, and I'm out.